Hey everyone, welcome to Fast Performance TV. I'm Claudio Encina. Have you ever taken a hit in real estate? Of course, we've all had. But here's the definition of real success. I heard Barbara Cochran, a successful realtor back in New York, that she said she hires people not based on the level of sales and listings that they do, but she looks at the actual individual and sees how quickly they bounce back after they've taken a hit. And I thought about that for a moment. I thought that's a really good way to define success. So here's a couple of tips of how you can bounce back after you've taken a hit. The first thing I would recommend is have a why. What's your why factor in life? Why do you get up every day? What is your reason to do what you do? What's the passion that you have? And I always look at that. You know, I've got little photos that trigger me, or I call them like a little anchor points that I look at every day. Could it be a photo of my wife? Could it be a photo of my children? And I think that is the why I do what I do and I have a passion for that gets me out of bed. So whenever you take a hit, go to your why factor. The second one that you wanna have is a philosophy. I heard a gentleman by the name of Les Brown, one of the world's greatest platform speakers. And he actually said to me one day when I was, well, listening to him at a seminar about 10 years ago now, he said, if you're willing to do things today that others won't do, you will have things tomorrow that others won't have. Think about that just for one moment. If you're willing to do things today that others won't do, you'll have things tomorrow that others won't have. What a great philosophy. Well, you know what? I've made that a philosophy of mine. Anytime I take a hit, guess what? I look at that. If I'm willing to make the phone calls, I'm gonna have more sales, more listings than the other agent will. And I'll have the things tomorrow that they won't have. Luxury, freedom, whatever that may look like. So make sure you look at a philosophy that you can get. Or another great philosophy that I heard once was, do the thing, have the power. Do the thing, have the power. Imagine, when you do the thing, you feel really good. When you don't do it, you feel really bad. Easy to do, easy not to do. Are you gonna take the path of least resistance or are you gonna do the thing and have the power and have all the power? The third and final one I would recommend is an affirmation. Now, I remember years ago, uh, you know, selling a, uh, a property for a very, very, uh, for a very good, I suppose, senior agent and I remember going into his, into his shower block and he had there a list of affirmations in his shower. And a couple of them were, I will have the greatest real estate agency on the planet I'll have the best people working for me in my office. And he had a whole list to about 20. He reads that every morning. That is his affirmations. But an affirmation doesn't work if you don't believe in it. You need to have something that resonates with you and works for you. So when you say it, you just feel it. Not like, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> you want to be, I'm happy, I'm happy. I feel it, I'm really happy. So remember, have an affirmation. They're the three things that you want to have when you take the next hit to reflect on. Have one of those. Choose it wisely and make it work for you so you can get the next sale and bounce back and quickly and be successful. Remember, stay focused, stay in control and always stay in action.